This morning, we are learning more details surrounding the death of Gabby Petito. The Teton County Coroner's Office says that Gabby was strangled to death. And on your side's Marco Villarreal, live now in the newsroom with what we're learning this morning. Marco. Hi, good morning. Well, this was something people have been wanting to know ever since Gabby Petito's body was found. How did she die? Well, it was ruled a homicide, but now the coroner is saying the cause of her death was manual strangulation or throttling, meaning someone attacked and choked her with their hands or another body part. He also released when they think she was killed. As far as the uh, time of death, uh, we are estimating three to four weeks from the time that uh, the body was found. Gabby's body was found September 19th at a camp campground in Wyoming's Bridger Teton National Forest. Police say Petito had not been seen since August 27th. Now that same day, this video from travel bloggers placed the white van from her cross-country road trip with fiance Brian Laundrie in the camping area near where authorities found her body. Dr. Brent Blue confirmed that law enforcement collected DNA samples from her body. Aside from the cause and manner of death, Wyoming state statute does not allow for the coroner to say much more than that about the autopsy findings. Unfortunately, uh, this is only one of uh, many deaths uh, around the country uh, of uh, uh, people who are involved in domestic violence. And uh, it's unfortunate that uh, these other deaths do not get as much coverage as this one. The attorney for the Laundry family, Stephen Bertolino, told Aid on Your Side that Gabby Petito's death at such a young age is a tragedy. While Brian Laundry is currently charged with the unauthorized use of a debit card belonging to Gabby, Brian is only considered a person of interest in relation to Gabby Petito's demise. Now, we did reach out to Gabby's mother, Nicole Schmidt, about the Laundry family attorney's remarks that I just read there. She said, quote, his words are garbage. Coming up in half an hour, we're diving into why the coroner's office and investigators are saying so little about Gabby's autopsy report and how that could help put the person responsible behind bars.